Okay, today we are playing some more mid-range decks in Standard. I've been loving Caretaker's talent in Mono White Mid-Range. I think Mono White Mid-Range is one of the best decks at the start of the Standard format. And I wanted to try out Black White Mid-Range. Of course, Black gets a bunch of good removal spells uh, in Cut Down, Go for the Throat, Bitter Triumph. You also get Discard spells in Duress and Cruel Claws Heist, which help you with a lot of the problems that Mono White has, right? You're really bad at interacting with Go Big decks. And Heist and Duress are great for stealing their cards. Same with Outrageous Robbery. And I'm trying with this deck to minimize how many creatures we're playing. The other, the Mono White deck we played, very creature dense. We had Inspectors, we had Guardian of Girapa, we had Cage. Because we have so many creatures, we can actually use the Cage to cheat spells. Or is this deck very light on creatures? And I'm trying to see if Caretaker's Talent is still really strong when we're a bit lighter on tokens than we are in the Mono White deck. And I also wanted to see how Collector's Vault plays. So we have a nice little package here. We have Collector's Vault, we have Builder's Talent, Token Producer for Caretaker's Talent. And then if we were to discard a 7-drop, like Virtue or Kaya with our Collector's Vault or Bitter Triumph, we can build his talents it back early. So not something that's going to come up super often, but I just want to see if that synergy package feels feels like it's doing something. Uh, excited to give this deck a try. Uh, this, this hand's very top-heavy, is my one concern. Possible I'm not allowed to keep a hand this top-heavy, but a bit of shot. Deep Cavern Bat, okay. I assume they take Caretaker's Talent here. But I'm very scared of getting Gixed from the opponent. Oh, they just take the thing where you can cast this turn, okay. All right, we really need to draw lands. Of course, we knew that when we kept this hand, but Plaza of Heroes, they're doing... Our Rafine rotated out, right? Hmm. All right, Liliana is scary. Draw a tap land, get rid of this, because we're looking for another land, so we can cast Baza. There's Lord Skitter. That's pretty good against my um, reanimation off the Builder's Talents. All right, they are plusing Liliana. I should probably just discard this Eternal Wanderer, I guess. I'm really hoping to draw a land next turn for Spazer. We do. That is exceptionally fortunate. Um, even then, we have to draw another land to answer Liliana with Season of the Burrow. If we do, we're actually in a pretty reasonable spot then. Yeah, need to find the land, answer Liliana, and then I think we'd actually be in an okay spot. Well, Liliana ultimate's coming our way. Okay. I guess they can't block all three creatures at the moment. Ah, so maybe we, we could actually be fine. Well, they left me with Season of the Burrow. I didn't notice that. That's crazy. Um, okay, this is tough. I kind of want to keep Caretaker's talent. We're going to get to attack Liliana for a bunch here. We don't actually need to Season of the Burrow, huh? And getting a Caretaker's talent going sounds really strong. Cut down, oh my god, that's uh, very strong. Anyway, we're definitely doing this this turn. Uh, these can't block, I guess I can attack first. Attack Liliana with everything. 
He takes five damage, so now she can't even edict. We get to play out the talent, draw a card immediately, whilst making a 1 1. Okay, this is interesting. I think I want to play the land. It means I have to discard this cut down, and the cut down is very good. Cut down, kill bat, get builder's talent is kind of sick, right? But fountain port is just onboard value. Uh, I really don't know. Yeah, fountain port is just so much value. It really is. Hmm. Tricky. Yeah, they draw a land. That's good news. Aren't they Grixis? They probably have Marchesa, right? They're probably a Marchesa deck. It would explain the Lord Skitter. All right. So I could Fountain Port this turn, but I think I want to like get this Caretaker's talent on its final mode. And kill this Liliana. That sounds pretty phenomenal. Um. So. Do I attack with these two? Then if they draw a go for the throw. If they want to attack me. They have to kill the fish. Yes, this way it's not guaranteed I can block Lord Skitter. I'd have to like block a 1 1. Maybe this is better. Alright, get to kill this Liliana. Very nice. They use up their plaza to keep their Lord Skitter alive. And now we're in top deck mode, except we have talent plus fountain port. So we're going to be drawing two cards a turn. Reserve. That's a pretty good card. Okay. Uh, let's make a 1-1 one, one and draw a card. Let's see what we find. By a 1-1, one, one, I mean a 3-3. Free, free. Do I want to attack at all? I'll target card. Feature X out with it. Oh, it can become a shoulder it? Jesus. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Till end of turn. I know I do have to start attacking them at some point, but I guess I just chill in defense. I'm just going to Sunfall next turn, and... And draw a billion cards, right? I just want to be on the defense here. They have so much incidental graveyard hate. It feels like their builder's talent package is not terribly impressive against them. Um, I kind of want this Bazer to die. So that... Yeah. Oh, Skitter with uh, the class. Yeah. It's true. All right. Hopefully, they don't have a removal spell here. Sorry, a counter spell. That would be really bad for me. Instead, they lose the game. Very nice. Game has concluded. Yep, that takes triumph. I can play out a builder's talent, draw a card. Yeah, making a 10 10 token is not bad, huh? Is not bad. 
Uh, I guess we just animate swing and then collector's vault to draw a card in their turn. Since I don't really care about this bat that much. Cool. So we're against, I believe, Grixis Crimes. I'm pretty sure they're playing Marchesa. Uh, I don't know if they have enough discard that Bailoff's good. Maybe they do. I'm pretty sure we didn't see much sun stuff for Sunder the Gateway. I'm going to take a quick look on Goldfish for Marchesa decks in Standard. Um, if I have time to do that. Queen Marchesa? Uh, that's a different one. Who knows? Who knows? We'll just, we'll just play it by vibes. It'll be fine. Uh... Regardless, I think this might not be a Cruel Claws Heist matchup. I think it probably is a Shoulder of the Edict matchup. And a Cut Down matchup. Like, Cruel Claws Heist, there's nothing we're too excited to steal from them, right? Did I consider 4 Mana Kaya? Yeah, we looked at 4 Mana Kaya. The problem is we don't have any good creatures to copy with her. Which I think makes her a bit less exciting than she would otherwise be. Let's go, let's just max out on these bases. Bays are kind of single-handedly won us that game, right? Having a single Bailoff. I kind of think they probably do have a lot of Lilianas. I think Hellstyle Investigator is not going to be very good in this matchup. So having a single Bailoff, I think, just has a lot of upside. Oh, Kaya is really bad in this matchup, right? Okay, let's try this. Okay, that seems fine. Unfortunately, they're very good at shutting off Builder's Talent reanimation with their deck. They seem to have a lot of uh, graveyard hate. But Okay, that's the best card in the deck, so we're keeping it on top. Caretaker's Talent, basically the only card we want to draw. Um, Just run out a Builder's Talent, I suppose. I'm not sure what we would be cut downing, so. They want to use a removal spell on this, that's fine. We still have a talent in play now, which is pretty nice. And now we get to resolve the best card in our deck before they can discard it. Means that this talent's gonna draw a card. Okay, they play a Marchesa, but we've got to go for the throat, so that's fine. So let's go Builder's Talent, draw a card. Play this Fabled Passage, find a Swamp. Try Builder and Caretaker in blue white. Yeah, I think it's worth doing. I think those two cards together are a really exciting package. And then people should be, you know, trying them out in different decks. Shoulder it. Okay, we can Bitter Triumph her. Um, I guess that's fine. Like, I could draw a card and see if I can Sunfall her. It's only two life. And I kind of want Bitter Triumph for this Restless Reef. I'm going to take a draw. Well, it was a tap land. Alas. Anyway. Uh, so this is non-creature, non-land permanence. Okay, so it's not going to trigger off this anyway. Copy this. Draw a card. Activate this. Yeah, free steps can dis can also discard. Yeah. Like I think I think the level one standard at the moment is just jam caretaker's talent into every possible deck, honestly. I think that's uh honestly a very good way to be approaching things at the moment. 
Let's do this. Maybe draw a card if we're lucky. Get a couple counters. Ground creatures will not get through. <laughs> Um, all right, see if they have the counter. They do not. Moat. Yeah, we basically have moat in play right now. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh no, I discard a card. Whatever will I do? How will I cope? With one less card. Truly the trial of our times. Using it to recur Jace. I assume just using it to recur Jace is pretty good. Alright, they counter my thing. I could have drawn a card, I guess. It all seems kind of immaterial. It seems very hard for me to lose. At the moment. <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Uh, but yes, I should have drawn a card. They aren't artifacts. I, I honestly thought they were for a moment, but they are not. All right, draw two cards. Pretty good. Level this up. There you go. Let's start growing our fish. The fish kill is coming. Oh, making treasures is really good, right? Because it grows the fish by, like, a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, draw two cards. Get three counters. I uh, get in with the fish. Then in their turn, I can draw two cards. Use the treasure to make another fish. That's the plan. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed with Caretaker's talent, y'all. It just solos people. It's so silly. Sure. Honestly, maybe just another bit of triumph could be good. Nope. Grass. Oh. Bro. Hey, goo. Oh, this is a lizard. I didn't notice that. Maybe I should have killed it to stop them enabling their stuff this time. The rot cooler, huh? All right, I guess I'm killing that. Am I discarding or paying free? I worry that paying free is like a pretty high price to pay at the moment against their deck. We get away with discarding a land. We have free draw steps. I don't know. I had a name. Are we going to lose because that wasn't a go for the throat? Find out today. It's already doubled in price since then. That's crazy. Flame cooler is really scary. Yeah, if I thought I was likely to play Paper Standard anytime soon, I'd probably have bought my copies already. Now it's nine or something. I would like to think I can claim at least a very small amount of bare responsibility for that. <laughs> I don't know. I've been hyping up the card a lot. Uh, I have normal feelings about that card. Ooh, we might get to Kaya this game. 
Um, I feel like I'm probably legally obligated to Sunfall here. With how much card advantage we have coming our way. Gev. Oh no! Shit. We're going to one, and it has Ward pay to life. That's pretty bad for me. So yes, this turn I need to animate, right? But not ideal. I guess that means I'm not allowed to caretaker's talent. I could just die pretty easily, unfortunately. Yeah, I might lose because of the better triumph not being a different removal spell. Yeah, animate and fingers crossed they don't draw a lizard. Yeah. I guess that's the plan. Oh, it's whenever you cast, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. We lost the game because our uh, Bitter Triumph was not a good removal spell. Because I uh, went for the cute synergy instead of playing good cards. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. That's okay. Now we get to have a lot of removal spells in. I wonder how reasonable Sunder the Gateway is. Honestly, just making a 2 2 is not terrible against their deck. But I don't know if they bring in things that this hits. Hmm, we do have a few unexciting cards. Oh, for one, Elishnorn. I don't know. It feels like we already have a lot of fives. Yeah, I haven't been paying super close attention to lizards. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they play like um, the stupid red card that makes haste creatures. You probably do. Maybe it's just good as like baseline as a 2 2. It does actually block some of their stuff. And if you ever get to blow up Forge, you're like frilled. Aya gaining life could be nice. Maybe that makes her better than Eternal Wanderer. I know we didn't have time for it that game, but try this. The latest 5 0 does. Okay. See if they have some forges then. All right. Well, the caretakers make these Sunders less embarrassing, so we're keeping. <laughs> and is like, honestly, fine. Doesn't have any removal, but uh, we'll figure it out. We're on the play. On the draw, I would feel more scared, but. I actually kind of want to keep that. I really want another untapped land, right? Yeah, I guess so. There's the Vine Lasher. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a 2-2. Not be greedy. Grizzly bear, go. Let me see. All about those vine lashes. Because oh, you can't sunder a Phyrexian incubator. That makes sense. I hadn't thought of that. That's funny. Grizzly bear that doesn't die to, die to go for the throat. Yeah. See, all the angles. All the angles. Next time we get to start drawing cards. All right, that one's pretty good, I guess. They hit land and they do hit a castable. Okay, very nice. 
Oh, there's the sun, fool. Love to see it. So we're playing a tap land this turn. Do I want to just make another 2 2 to block with? Probably, right? Not be greedy. When we have Sunfall coming, just keep my life total healthy. Get our defenses up. Also means if they discard my Sunfall, I have a board. Good matter. Ooh, that one is way good. Okay, I go to 12. I really need them not to have this discard spell. They get to Mentor to look for it as well. It's actually pretty terrifying. Oh wait, no, we get to kill the Mentor. I'm silly. All right, maybe it isn't that terrifying. Um. Do you take four? I'm going to six. It's kind of wild how good the lizard land is. All right, let's uh, get rid of the stuff. Draw a card. Gez. Oh no. All right, not a lizard, notably. Well, play a Builder's Talent, draw a card. Oh, do I want to play the other Caretakers first? I guess not, because I'm probably going to end up copying the zero four. But I'd like to see if I can draw a removal spell. Phaser, oh my god, gain for life. I think I just do that, right? I feel like if I don't cast Baser, it's like very plausible I die. TBH. I know all we do is gain for life, but I think I'm into it. All right, bees are down and still block Gev. Oh no, they're killing both. That's so bad for me. Oh my God, that's bad for me. Okay, at least um, I didn't die. Have a free free I can block with. Oh boy, I regret having a throat, yeah. Hmm. Wait, a bit of me wants to attack with this Restless Fortress. <laughs> um, I don't think that's a winning line, though. Oh, was Volatile Vault, like, a ramp spell here if I'd done that? I guess it kind of was, right? I didn't think of that. That's kind of sick. Like, copying the treasure. All right, take one. I discard an irrelevant. I guess I don't discard at all. Cool. Give this free free on defense. Fortunately, the creature has menace. That is a good draw. Okay, so we can go build his talent. Oh, do I activate this first? No, I think I don't, because I want to be able to cast the things I draw. I draw two cards. Okay. Ooh, so I could attack with the Restless Fortress. Gain two and go to six. I could also just make more creatures. 
might be pretty good. I guess I can do both. Probably just do both. I do lose a land in the process, which is sad, but... Water tapper, yeah. I guess if I was to wait one turn, I can grow the Restless Fortress. I worry that that's greedy. I should definitely have acted a build, activated a Builder's Talent by now, huh? I guess I could draw a removal spell. I'm going to draw so many cards, I might actually draw a removal spell. So, I actually, no. All right, we say go. So, I get to go in there, upkeep, activate vault, draw three cards. There we go. Um, and then I can kill the warlock this turn and edict the gev on my turn. Collector's Vault was kind of a banger there. I don't know. <laughs> free mana, draw free. Okay. Game free. Run it back. You might need an extra card or two on the sideboard for lizards. It's definitely felt a little spooky. Also, I think I am off Bitter Triumph. I think I've talked myself out of it. Okay, this is a good hand. We don't have any removal, sadly, but we have the Builder's Talent on too, which is, you know, a great card. And we have the Sunfall, which is what we're building towards. Oh boy. Yep. That's a Gev. I think I might just be killing the Gev. A lot of life to do so. Mm, what would I discard? I guess the Restless Fortress? Yeah, uh, so good. Okay. I'm gonna take the Sunfall, I assume. Oh, uh, taking the Builder's Talent also makes sense, I guess. Hmm. Kind of in a really bad spot regardless, right? They took the Builder's Talent, that might even mean they have an answer to the Sunfall as well, but... I'm gonna take five. I'm gonna take a million. So that's a good card. I don't know if it's going to be good enough, though. I guess we will see. Well, nine? I take four of the Hired Claws. I take, sorry, six of the Hired Claws. Yeah, I guess second Flame Call is Leaf 4, right? We would have survived through most other things. GG's opponent. Wow, we didn't lose the lizards at all with Mono White. I wonder what was different. I guess like the extra creatures are really good against lizards. Just like the blockers are good against their deck, right? Uh, I guess we hope these removal spells are good. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you can have a card. What on earth is going on? 
Corpses of the Lost, huh? That's a pretty messed up card. Skeletons, yeah. Hmm. Kind of making me wish I hadn't given them a card. So what have I taken? I guess we just have to take a Corpses of the Lost, right? Then we can sunder the other one. Skeletons is pretty hype. Hmm. Yeah, do this. Hold it back to block. Drawing Sunfall was very good for us. But Sunder the Gateway is kind of sick. I almost want a second one in the main. It's so cool having a disenchant that just cantrips whenever you draw talent. And can be a grizzly bear on two if you don't have a two mana playing. It's not like amazing at anything, but it's pretty good at a lot of things. What are they? What? Oh, I guess they could disfigure this. I guess we're probably going to sack it to draw a card in that case. All right, they go for the disfigure. We're going to draw a card pretty happily. Find a tap land. Slightly awkward, but it does mean we are going to get to Sunfall at some point. Okay. Still good. Oh, I guess I should maybe have cut down in my turn. Because of the corpses of the lost. That's funny. I get a go for the throat. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kill the harvester because it's six damage. I guess. I suppose so. Right, let's fire off a back street, see what we find. Oh, is that good? Hmm. They have a go for the throat. I think this is pretty bad because they have go for the throat in hand. And lands are actively pretty good for us because of Fountain Port plus Virtue. We're not too worried about flooding. Uh, and then I guess I just say go. I will absolutely not return this Corpses of the Lost to my opponent's hand. <laughs> In fact, because now they can unearth. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, I guess we're planning on get losting this Corpses of the Lost if they manage to return it to hand this turn. Although I might just do it anyway to stop this Anthem, right? We just don't want them looping it. Yeah, I should just go for this. I take two less damage and then I Sunfall them. We just hope they don't draw the third copy. Enters tapped. I think you mean it gets exiled. All right, that was very good for us. And we have this virtue coming in a couple turns, probably. Which is uh, gonna stop a lot of their reanimation from fully functioning. Well, they get a case of the stash skeleton, that one's scary. 
Okay. That one's pretty good. Funful indeed. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Right. Play this back street. Caves of Koilos, we do not need. Um. Kill this, make a 2 2. Virtue the 2 1. And then activate a blocker. Maybe I can activate a 4 for an attack with it. I can't block the 1, the free 1, but maybe that's fine. Swinging for four is like kind of sick. Yes, this, this attack might be unnecessary, but all right, they put the Ofri in their graveyard. That's good for my virtue of persistence. Means I can steal it. Uh, we stole it with Cruel Claws heist. And I am choosing not to return it to my opponent's hand. <laughs> but it shimmers whenever it can be returned. So, that's cute, I guess. Heist, indeed. Alright, these harvesters are going to be very good at uh, shutting off virtue, but that's fine. Fun fool, you say? Hmm. Alright, let's just get in for four and cast virtue. Yes. Force them to exile from their own yard. And they only have one creature though, of note. All right, they're mapping. We might have to sunfall this harvester. Oh no, they got another haste creature. We are gonna be sunfalling. Why is Ashnod's Harvester flying? <laughs> it is a Mockingbird disguised as an Ashnod's Harvester. <laughs> this is like a bunch of damage. This figure doesn't seem very good. All right, so I can get in for four, sack the four, four to draw a card, and then sunfall. The land just kept hovering. The land continues to hover. This does work, right? This is like enough mana. Yeah. Ooh, Virtue's nice. The life gain seems very appealing right now. Honestly. Oh, they kind of can't stop me killing them very easily, huh? All right, let's go for this. Virtue, your minor. Uh, we don't want to activate the Restless Fortress because they have go for the goat open. So I guess I'm going to attack with a 2-2. And another 2-2. Wow, we won a game without casting Caretaker's Talent. The impossible has happened. Instead, we cast many Sunfalls. Um... Okay. Blue, black stuff. I see. I assume rest in peace is really good against them, right? Sunder the gateway seems like pretty reasonable, I think. At least a couple copies. I think rest in peace is pretty reasonable. Rule Clause Heist seems not good, although it does exile. Shodra's Edict seems really not good. 
Temporary lockdown is probably pretty good. Uh, uh, what else? What else? Probably trim some top end. How's the deck going? It's going pretty good. We beat... What thing did we beat? I know we lost the Lizards. I changed the deck a little bit afterwards. Oh, we beat Grixis. Now we're a game up against Blue Black. Some Blue Black Graveyard deck. I don't know if we want all the rest in pieces. They do seem pretty good though, I think. I think it cuts off a lot of their stuff. All right, we are on the draw. And this hand is pretty good. It has a baser, so kind of hard to mulligan it. All right, they actually have the one drop on one this game. Obviously scary. <laughs> Sophia, thank you for the 27 months. I don't think that's how triplets work, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but... Am I sure? I'm pretty sure triplets implies they all occur at the same time. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's the archaeologist. Another baser. I'm sure it'll be good at some point. Get out my vault. All right, opponents are gonna have to start grinding through these bases. We are gonna get a lot of value. They missed the land drop too, so they're actually like. We're even going to get to draw a card, potentially, which is wild. Uh, tiny bones, huh? Okay. I would like to get a four for one, I guess. Why not? <laughs> With this incredibly obnoxious card. Is this acceptable? Sure, baser down. Look at look at me, care. Oh, I guess if I um, they are very rude. I agree. I guess if I double block the miner, I get to baser again next turn, right? That's kind of sick. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> Very wishful thinking for, from the opponent there. Uh, so I do have to play out a land first. I would like to get another four for one. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, going up to four bases in the main deck was the right right call, I think. That card's uh, pretty unreasonable. Mulligan. Very insightful, I know. Grab a planes. What does basic mountain no one drop mean? All right, fourth land is phenomenal. That's exactly what we needed. Also, Baze is very good on a mulligan because it almost certainly draws a card. So, love that. Grabby Giant. 
Oh, are they on the... No, the Cascade deck is two color. I guess they're just on big red. The, cr the Cruel Claw deck. Is, isn't the Cruel Claw deck two colors? I guess you may just want to jam Bazer and draw a card. They can attack a Planeswalker. Oh no! We still got a two for one, I guess. But obviously, obviously, I would have loved to draw a card with my four five. Ah, <sighs> sadness. Lawa. Yeah, they seem to be big red currently. It's so hard to imagine Sunfall not being good. But also lands are like pretty actively appealing at the moment. So I guess I guess I'm just gonna like get rid of a redundant removal spell. Alright, they make a one one. Interesting. Oh, they have fountain ports in there, like that's terrifying. Hmm. Target permanence. You can get back a fetch land with this? That is so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> this is wild. Again, indestructible fetch land, y'all. Living the dream. I had no idea you could do that with Season of the Burrow. It's actually a ramp spell in disguise. Getting back deep cavern bar, that's pretty dreamy. This is the worst ramp spell you've ever seen. I got two one ones out of the deal. These one ones are gonna become cards with fountain port. I don't know, it seems pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we're against big red, I guess? Question mark. Who even knows? I wish I knew more about what's actually in that deck. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm meant to... I assume this matchup's pretty hard to lose, but... I have no idea what's in that deck. Um... Outrageous Robbery might be kind of sicko mode. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. I don't know if it's good, but it seems fun. Oh, they have Forges? If we're certain they have forges, I will bring in more sunders. We didn't really see cut down targets. They built around cough and forge. Okay, that's good to me. They can be a little aggro sometimes. Cool. Hmm. I don't know if we're allowed to bring in duress. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ember Heart. Interesting. Okay. These are good things to know about. Hmm. In which case, I might just cut this, I guess. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have this outrageous robbery in the deck if they do actually have aggressive stuff. That deck, that game, they seem so slow though. Yeah, whatever. Probably doesn't matter too much. Imagine with four Bazer in our deck, the matchup's like probably baseline pretty reasonable for us. Well, this Caves of Coil loss is painful, but also I guess I'm keeping. They have five cards. Opponent didn't like losing to Bazer and so wanted to mulligan to stop us drawing cards. So valid, Uwu. Oop. Oh, 
cool. <laughs> All right. Onwards. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to keep this. It's very slow, but I guess I'm going to. Uh-oh. Turn one to rest. Goodbye, caretaker's talent, I guess. Yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Take the best card. Oh, how are the leagues? I've not actually played them very much. I assume that is a card I want, but... Bring it back with season. True. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Oh, they're Golgari. Interesting. All right. I guess these are both functionally tapped lands, so I should play out the better one and hide knowledge about my hand. Oh, that makes sense, Sora. Yeah, quality of gameplay matters quite a lot for streaming, so it's not really an option for me. All right, then playing out talent means I might not... Okay, they are going to play out the red line, so I do get my value off, Beza. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, we are drawing a lot of lands, which is not ideal. Season of the Burrow is going to be it. Quite good, I think. Season of the Burrow returning Caretaker's Talent. Oh, hey, Nort. It's going good. It's going good. I'm enjoying this Orzov deck we threw together today. Is Restless Fortress better than Cottage? Restless Fortress is wildly worse than Restless Cottage. But also, Restless Fortress makes white mana. So, here we are. <laughs> Like, they're, they're not even in the same ballpark. The, this card is gigantically stronger, but it is what it is. All right, we have to exile the talent or we die. And then we can get back our caretakers. Don't see a lot of the green-white one. Yeah, I think that's partly that green-white decks are kind of unplayable. Yeah, Anchorage is the best one. Anchorage and Cottage are, like, the two really good ones, though. I do think Anchorage is the best. Yeah, Vinestalk is very good. This doesn't have many homes, but it's very strong. Uh, okay. This is fine. I kind of want to double block this to take less damage. I also kind of want to attack this Raska, so I guess I'm not doing that. Yeah, uh, I guess so. I guess so. I'm really worried about this bat just messing me up. Raska dies. I go crack this Fabled Passage and play a Builder's Talent, I guess. It means I can't... It does mean I lose out on a little bit of value. It also means I don't die as much. It seems pretty relevant at the moment. Um, I can like start activating Restless Cottage as a worst case scenario, I guess. But yeah, getting down the 2-6 is very appealing, currently. 
Oh, I guess if I sequence differently, I'd have two wolves, which would probably be better than the extra fish. That was bad. I should have um, played Builder's Talent before leveling up Caretakers. Uh, I thought if I drew a removal spell, I would just cast that instead of playing Builders, so I guess my sequencing made sense. God, that is terrifying. Rare occasion where shoulder is actually really scary. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I'm just dead, huh? Yeah, this bat's just kind of done a bit too much damage. I guess we drew a lot of lands, which has not helped on our mulligan. Oh, we didn't mulligan. I'm being silly, but yeah, we drew a lot of drew a lot of lands. I guess we are just dead to shoulder it, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Shoulder is not typically a very impressive card against these style of decks, but okay. So they're on Golgari. They have the combo of note. Hmm. So how do I want a sideboard? I definitely want more Sunders, right? Because of the stupid talent card. I don't. It's not super impressive. It does kill Bat. It was pretty bad against the free two. I don't really want the fourth copy. Uh, is Cruel Horse Heist good? I think it is not really a card for this matchup. Seems fine, but I'd rather just have answers and be using my mana effectively. I guess Temporary Lockdown looked pretty good against me when my uh, opponent, mono white opponent, was casting it and I was on Golgari. I might also want this Bail Off against Liliana. They probably have four Lilianas, right? Hmm. Let's try this, I guess. They didn't have the combo, I'd probably bring in some outrageous robberies. And I imagine it'd be quite impressive. But the combo forces me to have a bunch of disenchants in my deck. Right, this seems fine, I guess. Builder's talent. I don't think I want that at the moment. Because I need land drops. Or to find caretakers. Passage on one. Get to see if this bail off does anything this game. I guess bail off is a bit weak against duress and bat because they get to know it's here. Maybe bail off is bad because of bat. Maybe it's only good against like the ores of discard deck. So it's actually just kind of a stinky card. Yep, take the removal spell, makes sense. And I am going to die. Possible I was just meant to cast the Sunder to set up Bazer. Oh my god, they have Fort Stalker Warlock? That's so sick. We didn't have that in our Golgari list yesterday. It seems incredible, right? Ah. Huh. Yeah, if we play Golgari again, we're playing Fort Stalker Warlock. That card seems fantastic. It really is a banger. Agree. Not enough early creatures to curb into it. Oh, I had Broncos in my list. We had like 12 two drops. Like, Bronco is such a bananas card. That an off-color bail off? Shh. I'm cutting, I'm cutting it from the list after this game, Nor. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> it's being removed after this game. Alright, I guess we're gonna die to, um... 
Nebraska here, huh? Probably. Admiring my old ass too, you know? Yeah. All right, Bailoff's getting cut. Oh, the foreland for a treasure. I don't even get to draw a card, right? All right, I'm gonna draw a third land and then I guess a fourth land. It's fine, it's fine chat, don't worry about it. Have no fear. I don't know if I would actually keep this hand if there was anything on the line, I don't know. I guess Baze is a good catch up card if we were to brick for a turn. And like Cruel Claws can potentially give us something to do early anyway. Oh, they were the raccoon deck. I love the raccoon deck. Ooh. I'm just gonna cruel claws this turn. Maybe shut them off a mana orc or something. Oh my god, that deck is very cool. Um, yeah, they're the combo deck. This is probably a heinous matchup. I guess we take the Smuggler's Surprise. It can dig us to lands. You can find zero Raccoon Payoffs. Uh, Kivlo was playing a Raccoon deck. It looked kind of cool. We faced him the other day when he was playing it. Very bad, but also very good against decks you tend to play. Yeah, I expect we're going to lose terribly. I, I accept this fate. <laughs> I would be very shocked if I win this game. Or match. Well, that's cool. You get to, like, search for two lands of our middle there. That's kind of sick. I kind of love that. They have four mana next turn, so pretty soon the scary things start happening. I could it's plus possible the decks get now. I don't know. I know before rotation it always looked heinous. But obviously the meta is very different now and pretty undefined. Maybe it starts to be pretty good in a more undefined meta. Who knows? Alright, let's do this. Two lands. Volatile Fault against this archway. Pretty spicy. Another talent. Am I actually allowed to keep that? It draws me so many cards, but... I guess if I keep it, I can then vault faults and draw two cards next turn. Go on. I guess so. I'm going to fault this archway. And their upkeep. This is kind of adorable. They go minus one mana, we go plus two cards. We have a treasure that we can copy of the caretaker's talent now if we want. We do have to kill them at some point. Like, I, I still think we're wildly unfavored this game because we're not pressuring them at all. But, you know. <laughs> um, you know. Maybe I just have to run out Bazer as a 4-5. I think his talent is quite the house. Exceptional card. Okay. I mean, Virtue of Persistence can kind of do things. Um, oh, I can build his talent it back potentially at some point. I don't know. What am I doing? 
Yeah, maybe I'm discarding the virtue. <laughs> if I collect his vault, I get to draw two cards in that turn. Hmm. Like to reiterate, I don't think I can win this game, but we're trying. We are trying our hardest to let it be known. Uh, so this costs six mana to kill me. Cool. That's good. I guess get lost interacts with it. Activate this. Got a concealed courtyard. Draw two cards. Um, this cannot kill the meteorite, sadly. Hmm. I think I could use Season to Burrow here. Why Sunder the Gateway? I will answer that in a moment. Um. Giving them two cards might be kind of a bad idea. Oh wait, Virtue kills this. I'll probably ask a question on what to do. Then I can get the Builder's Talent prepared for next turn. Goldred's Edict is very nice. Discarding cut down and under, I guess. Uh, yeah, what Kali said. We have no blinking. We don't. The only blinking we effects we have for Loran are a couple of Eternal Wanderers, and. Sunder is like a grizzly bear against the aggro decks on two, but also answers artifacts and enchantments whilst triggering talent, which seems pretty nice. It's felt pretty good so far. It also triggers the other talent as well. All right, here's the scary card. Although we have Shouldered's Edict to answer one of the creatures. Um. We have to do it before this trigger resolves, of course. Yeah, it stops the kill. We're probably still in a really bad spot, but maybe they just don't have another kill in hand. Who knows? Maybe they just don't. Next turn we get to return a Virtue to play. If we want. These are okay. Um so yeah, I have options. I believe the thing that's most likely to make me win is if I return virtue to play and get lost to the terror. Obviously I die if they can set up another smugglers, but opponent opponent agrees that they are dead to that. Cool. Alright, that deck seems utterly terrifying. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll bring in some more discard. Shoutouts to Cruel Claws Heist that game. Also, shout out to the single volatile vault. 
Volatile Fault basically won me the game. What a banger. Oh, hey, Jason. Horrifying for Sunfall decks. Yeah! Talia says hi to you. Hi, Talia. It seems Sundo does nothing against that deck. I wonder if I want Skrull's Hive. I don't know, like... There are probably games where you scroll type on two and it actually puts in work. Under the Gateway is so sweet. See no, see. <laughs> see. I'm glad someone agrees with me. I assume Outrageous Robbery can't possibly be good against them. Maybe. I mean, like, it's not clear that we want any bases on our deck. Maybe Baza could be fair against that, good against their fair game plan sometimes, but... Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's just try this. We don't really know how they're sideboarding. If they sideboard in some, like, lower-to-the-ground stuff, we'll be pretty happy to have Baza. I don't know that this hand's keepable, but I guess I'm keeping it. Dinosaur. Okay, that card's kind of a banger. That deck definitely looks more functional with that card in it. <laughs> they didn't really have any ramp at all last game. Yeah, we could die here. Alright, another glimpse the core. They missed their land drop. Interesting. Builder's talent. Do I even want to play that out? I guess I do, because then if I can discard this virtue, we get to bring it back. And it gets a token in play for if we draw caretakers. Go on. <laughs> good luck Sophia the frill back oh my god at least we just block it this is fine it doesn't even matter that much right we just block the frill back and the builder's talent going away just doesn't matter yeah I just don't care hey a builder's talent <laughs> um yeah I guess so The other option would be drawing a card, but Builder's Talent getting back Builder's Talent. What a what a combo deck we've assembled. I guess this turns off Shouldred's Edict. It means we're probably gonna have to cast this virtue. Unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> kind of want to do season. Exile a zero for to draw a card and get back a land to ramp. It might be terrible. However, Yeah, Season does literally everything. I didn't realize it got back Fable Passage until, like, a match ago. <laughs> Which is so sick. It is so cool that you can uh, ramp to seven with it. <laughs> and you can ramp in your Fountain Port deck where you just want all the mana in the world. Please don't combo me. <sighs> God damn it. Great. <laughs> All right. I assume this is Leaf Four, right? Yeah, sixteen. Hmm. 
Yes, it is Xaxes. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if I'd virtued this, I would have survived. Right, that was maybe my fault. I guess if I'd virtued this, I would have got to hold up both Shoulder's Edict and Fountain Port draw a card. Maybe I needed to not be so greedy about the Sunfall. This is this is what this one's probably my fault. Game was probably pretty favored if um I played slightly better. That's okay. I do wonder about this outrageous robbery card. I also feel like I want more cruel claws heists. My card is so good. Gotta make things interesting. Mm-hmm. Iron Extract is so good against Eternal Wanderer. Maybe... Hmm. Well, kind of. It like soaks up the attack and then you can answer it other ways. Yeah, I guess you just kind of need more discard for a matchup like this more than anything. Combo deck. Alright, this hand doesn't interact a huge amount. However... Let's draw a lot of cards, potentially. Who's the real combo deck opponent? Please don't glimpse the core and uh, throw back. <laughs> it will make everything I'm doing look so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, there's part one. Great. Don't do it. Have a heart. Have a heart. <laughs> hey, Sun Thief. Hey, they're not doing it. Let the card draw begin. All right, that's that planned. It's fine. Uh, in that case, we're probably not getting down the second talent this turn. Maybe though. Maybe it's still good to get down the second one. I don't want to be copying my tokens. Instead. I know I don't get to draw a card, but the extra one one should be pretty nice. Mm-hmm. To cast a five drop here. Hopefully it's just a terror of the peaks. Pick your poison. Sack an enchantment. I feel like the scroll side has kind of done its work. Although we do have another caretakers in hand, but I'm going to want to start holding open get lost next turn. Yeah, scroll side has done its work. The rest, phenomenal. Let's just start with this and see what they have. Maybe I'm meant to attack first. Since the attack is very scripted. All right, mill four. They get back two lands. Acceptable. All right, I duress bricks, but their hand is not super scary. Uh, so now I can collect his vaults to trigger my caretakers and discard this redundant caretakers. I guess. All right, we do not find a land, unfortunately, but I'm going to get to Dinosaur here. Cool. What do they hit? They hit a Pick Your Poison. This is very acceptable. 
All right, so we lose our caretakers, but that's fine. Kind of been doing what we need it to. We're going to put them to seven poison this time. Uh, I think I like really want to have the instant speed answer in my hand. Although I guess pretty soon Smuggler's Surprise gives their things hexproof, right? So I guess it doesn't actually matter. And if I do it things this way, I can go Caretaker's copy a token, which is solid. Yeah, I guess we can't actually interact with Smuggler's Surprise at this point, so I'm just going to do this. And just hope they don't combo me. All right, please don't kill me. Good game. Us. That matchup feels pretty awful. <laughs> Shout outs to Scrub's Hive. Shoutouts to Skrull's Hive. Very nice card. This Orzov deck has been feeling sweet. I don't know if it's better or worse than Mono White. It's kind of just different. But it's been feeling pretty good so far. It's uh, much less creature-based than the Mono White deck we were playing. Much more controlling.